because the NIC, National Council uh, Cohesion Integration Commission, somebody, a commissioner from there, expressed the other day that oh, maybe during elections we should uh, shut down uh, Facebook or something like that. That is our view. The position of the government is very clear. We will respect the constitution. We will respect all the rights of our people. We will not intrude or interfere with the freedoms of our people. We have no intention. I have not heard it anyway. It has not even been discussed anywhere within government of shutting down social media, Facebook or whatever it is because of elections. We are a mature government. We have gone through all this. Criticism is a way of life and we're used to it. Sometimes, you know, when citizens criticize us, it's okay. That's what they're supposed to do. Because, you know, we cannot imagine, we're not leading animals, we're leading people, human beings, who also have ideas. Some of them have ideas that may be even better than our own. So, we work in a democratic setup. We will not interfere with social media, we are not going to interfere with the internet just because of elections. My colleague, the Minister for ICT, and I have expressed ourselves several times before. That is not anywhere on our card. It has not been discussed anywhere in government. Some commissioner at the NCIC expressed an opinion. And that is an opinion which actually I can confirm here that we are not even going to take, or an opinion that we are not going to listen to. It doesn't matter. I mean, in Jietu Kuba Namunai, with the democracy we have had, in the freedom we have, uh, freedoms we have enjoyed, Kenyans are used to freedom. Since it was a car man, na to the Kisha Kama Serikali, Kumba to me, Wapea wa Kenya wetu, Amani ya Kutosha, na kwa Kisha Kwamba, Wale ambao wa Takua kwa Ujakusi, Wana Pika Kura kwa Amani, na Sisi to Nafuata Vido to the case on IEDC. Atuta ingilia mambo ya social media, mambo ya internet, et kusema huyu as yonge kwa Facebook, atuta fanya mambo kama hai. It will not happen in our country. And as I said before, we've come a long way. We are not intimidated by criticism or disagreement or insult or something like that. I've said several times before that no amount of criticism, no amount of insults by those who do not agree with us, because they are fellow citizens anyway, will tempt us enough to claw back on the freedoms that we were uh, uh, guaranteed by our constitution. We will not. The government is very clear on this. This is a democratic process, and God has been gracious and kind to us. We've had a fantastic electioneering period. Atuchakua na shita. Sasa tukukatika wiki ya mwisho.